Okay, straight up, what people don't often tell you about this vegan or plant-based lifestyle is that you're gonna be cooking more. Maybe that's because you live in a place where you don't have many healthy options to dine out, or maybe your health requires you to be more careful with your ingredients. Either way, you'll be cooking more, okay? And these essential cooking tools I'll share are exactly what I use to save time and make my life easier in the kitchen. Hey, beautiful people, it's Melissa from Choosing My Health, where I teach you how to easily transition to a whole food, plant-based lifestyle and thrive. So I put together a list of my top 10 kitchen must-haves that make me more efficient in the kitchen. These are the products that I most often use and I recommend them because I believe you'll also find value in them. You'll find affiliate links to the products I mentioned in the description box. Should you choose to purchase from one of these links, I may earn a small commission. Uh, from qualifying purchases, and if you do, thank you. All right, here are my top 10 essentials for an easier life in the kitchen. Let's go. They call me the blender girl at home. I'm always blending. And that's because a good blender is the MVP of appliances for plant-based cooking. Hello, somebody. Especially if you're a smoothie junkie like me, and you can use it to make creamy soups, rich sauces, amazing smoothies. I even use it to make flour for some of my recipes. Now, I've owned a Vitamix for the longest and recently upgraded to this newer model. I use a Vitamix because it's tried and true, but there are also other good options out there. If you're serious about this lifestyle though, I definitely recommend investing in a quality, high-powered blender because you can easily use this several times a day, so you want one that holds up. I love my food processor. This is a time saver in the kitchen for sure. I can make large batches of things and then portion them out and freeze them. I use it to make walnut taco meat, dips, desserts, hummus, ice cream, baby food, and just so much more. When I finally got a food processor, I was shocked at how much more fun cooking became and I got faster in the kitchen. Right now, I use a Hamilton Beach food processor, but any good brand will do. I also like the mini food processors, which are great for quickly chopping seasonings. Mine broke, so I definitely need to uh, replace that because sometimes you just want something small and compact to work with. If you don't have a food processor yet, I highly recommend you getting one. It's gonna make your plant-based journey so much easier. So the Instant Pot is the one appliance I didn't know I needed it until it came into my life. My husband kept telling me to get one and I was like, no, I'm okay. I already got a crock pot and I don't mind putting it on overnight. After just one use, I saved time and the food was so good. The pressure cooker can be used as a slow cooker, a steamer, a rice cooker, a yogurt maker. I love making my bean stews in this pot, by the way. Basically, it's like the Swiss army knife of kitchen appliances and it's perfect for plant-based cooks who really want to make quick and easy meals. What are some of your favorite essential kitchen tools? Please share in the comments. You'll need at least one pot and one pan to cook anything worthwhile, but if you really want to step up your vegan cooking game, invest in a good quality set of pots to make easy, satisfying meals. So about a year ago, Hubby and I were on the hunt to find some safe, healthier, high quality cookware for the family, and we came across Caraway pots, and we decided to purchase Listen, I can literally make anything without oil and it comes out amazing every time. No sticking to the pan and super easy cleanup, which saves me time. And I loved it so much that I decided to become a part of their affiliate program. And they sent some other pieces my way and my experience with them has consistently been amazing. I love the beautiful colors. They're non-toxic and eco-friendly. And make sure you get some wooden spoons because Unlike metal spoons, wooden spoons won't scratch your cookware. So this one is a no-brainer. Whether you're chopping your veggies or slicing delicate pieces of fruit, you're gonna need a good knife. One that's sharp, not dull, because dull knives are more dangerous than sharp ones. Did you know that? We don't need an accident. That's just gonna set you back. Do make sure you get a wooden cutting board too. You don't want your knives to get dull from cutting on metal or plastic. It's helpful to have varying sizes and types. You definitely want at least one chef knife and a paring knife. A knife with a serrated edge is also helpful. The set I use most is Cutco. I also have some Forever Sharp knives. They both work excellent for me, but any good knife brand will do. If you're considering a plant-based diet, you might be wondering, do I need a juicer? 
The answer is a resounding yes. And here's why. First of all, juicing helps you to get a boatload of concentrated nutrition into the body, which is really helpful if you're sick or need a much needed recharge or detox. And if you're interested in how to do a juice cleanse, I'll link that video below. Secondly, it's a great way to get your kids to eat their fruits and vegetables. <laughs> My kids love them some kale and beets from the juicer. And finally, juicing is a great way to experiment with uh, new recipes and flavors. My first juicer was a Breville and I loved it. I just the life out of that thing for about 10 years. And then I was gifted the Nama J2 juicer. Listen, I can literally load my ingredients into the juicer and then walk away and clean the dishes while it makes perfect juice for me. It's hands-free, it's incredible. So the Dominican in me loves me some garlic. I grew up in a household where we laboriously pounded that thing in a mortar with the pestle. So when I got a garlic press, I instantly fell in love because it made dealing with garlic so much easier. All you do is put the garlic clove in a slot and press. No mincing, no chopping, no pounding. And if you're vegan, chances are you use a lot of garlic and a garlic press is gonna be a blessing to your life. Now I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you do want that pounded garlic for that authentic flavor in some of your dishes. I mean, it's ingrained in me. But for everyday use, a garlic press will do and it's a lot easier. As any cook knows, having a good set of glass mixing bowls is essential. They can be used for everything from mixing up creamy pasta salads to batters, food storage. They can be used for just about anything you'd use a bowl for. And because they're glass, they're easy to clean, they won't absorb food odors, and they're non-toxic. Get a set with covers so they can double as storage containers too. A convection oven uses forced hot air to circulate around food, cooking it evenly and quickly. This makes it an ideal choice for baking smaller things like a small batch of veggies or a handful of nuts. I also use it to warm up entire plates of food instead of using a bunch of pots and pans to warm up leftovers or instead of using the microwave. It can also broil and grill and some even have built-in air fryers. If you're the type of person who enjoys a fresh green salad but doesn't enjoy the time it takes to wash and dry all them leaves, you need a salad spinner. It's been so helpful to preserve the life of my greens because it gets them really dry and I can easily store the salad spinner with the dry greens in the fridge so I have fresh, crisp greens at the ready. I've really enjoyed using this one for, man, it's been about like 10 years now. I definitely recommend investing in a good salad spinner. By the way, if this video is helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. That would be so appreciated. Now, along with my essentials, there are several items that I use every day that I consider more of the smaller kitchen tools that are just as life-changing. They're my honorable mention, so to speak. You're gonna need measuring cups and spoons to make sure your ingredients are properly measured. This is one tool that will truly take your cooking to the next level. It's basically the 2.0 version of a grater. It can effortlessly zest citrus fruit, remove burned bits from roasted vegetables, and create homemade breadcrumbs. A mason jar is a jack of all trades when it comes to kitchen containers. I use these glass jars for everything from storing leftovers to whipping up quick salads to making overnight oats. And they're not just for the kitchen fridge. Mason jars make excellent vases, pantry storage containers, or stunning ice cream sundae glasses. Now there are many more kitchen tools and gadgets that I use, but I wanted to keep this really simple for you guys and just focus on the essentials I think you need. Listen y'all, I collected these over many years on this journey, so please don't feel like you have to go out and buy everything all at once. So now that you have these fabulous new kitchen tools, why not put them to use with some delicious recipes? Click or tap right here to check out my playlist. You'll especially enjoy my pumpkin plantain soup for the holidays. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you have an amazing day. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one.